Near record breaking temperatures and high humidity brought dangerous heat across the state and with that a need for more water breaks. The second heat wave of the season is in full swing. As baseball players from South Windsor and Manchester battle it out in an all star game under the scorching sun. And we see how much water they need. They need it like every 10, 15 minutes. So they instituted a rule where at the end of the third inning, we all have to come in, drink water 15 minutes, and we go back out and play. Water bottles, tents, and trees provided some relief for the fans, not necessarily in the stands. We're all looking out for each other's kids, so if someone doesn't have an extra water, we pass it on, and there's Gatorades and everything. We make sure that everyone brings Gatorade, water, uh, towels, they dip in the water and the ice, make sure they're hydrated, make sure they're not pulling calf muscles, because I have these guys running hard in 95 degree heat. Whether it's the cracking of the bat, <laughs> or making a splash in Hartford, <laughs> the goal here is to stay hydrated. It's a very hot day. It's like a heat wave, but it's not. So like in the pool, it's more cool. When I first got in there, it was so cold. With Colt Park Pool, the only pool open in Hartford, cooling centers are also an option. This Saturday, we'll have the rest of the city pools open, and uh, you can go to the MyRec website from the HartfordCT.gov uh, uh, site and check it out, get the hours. But, uh, but it's also important to remember, uh, going to the pool is not necessarily the way to, to keep yourself safe from the heat. You still got to stay hydrated, and you, if you can, get to a cool place and, and cool yourself down. More high heat and humidity is expected for a majority of the week, so to find out more information on where you can go to cool off, you can head to our Fox 61 website. In Manchester, I'm Rachel Piscatelli. Fox 61!